Hi, welcome and thank you so much for being here. We're going to do a timeless and collective reading. So whenever this reading finds its way to you is the right time. But keep in mind, it's a general reading. So see what signs, symbols, messages, and energies resonate for you in your particular situation. Hopefully help bring you a little clarity on whatever you're wondering. It could broaden your perspective, narrow your focus, help you see something with fresh eyes in a new way, in a new light. But in the end, always trust yourself, that divine inner guidance, it's inside of you. And try to make balanced decisions between logic and intuition so that your decisions are sound, based in love, and for the highest and greatest good of everyone. So we're all uplifted in love. Let's begin. We're going to start with the Life and Career Oracle deck. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, Christ Consciousness, our higher selves, angels, and energies of love have for the highest and greatest good of all what is the opening energy to be helpful right now for the collective please and thank you illumination something is opening up you're becoming more aware of something something was too contained before but you're ready to have this release to let something go to let something rise it's something that was behind a closed door uh, maybe a secret around you, something that was hidden, it was in the dark, you didn't know about it before, is going to be coming to light. It's going to bring you new information, new awareness, and I feel like it is maybe going to change the course of how you react or the direction you were going before. So you might find out about new jobs, opportunities, and different options you just didn't put on the table before. You didn't even know something was an option. So for some of you, if this has anything to do with maybe a partner, um, maybe you're going to find out that someone's sort of thinking about asking you out. You never even thought about that person. You didn't even think it was an option. And there it is like, huh, totally changes everything. If it's about a job or an, I hear an opening, um, I hear a move. Maybe some of you are moving or moving in a company or something like that. It's um, somebody around you that lends you a helping hand. It's somebody behind that closed door or that situation that was in the dark that is helping orchestrate something for you. So I feel like somebody already has you in their mind that they want to work with you, that they want to um, even be the one that introduces you to somebody else. Um, I'm just getting that before it was a timing thing. So let's see. Illumination. I'm even getting that maybe if some of you had to do something on the side or maybe something that wasn't your like initial goal, you know, you're working in a place, it's not really the long term thing you thought you'd be doing, but I feel like for some reason it was still important for you to be at a certain place so you meet the right person that brings you this opportunity. Or even you're in another place where you receive the inspiration you need um, to get you somewhere else. I kind of see that, you know, like the, the hallway, the side door, the like time in between. Like sometimes you're the right person for the job, but until that position is either... Um, created or maybe if somebody I, I saw that move maybe somebody had to move and now that position is opening up and it it is just like the right time for where you are that you um are, i feel like you're you're standing in front of that door that's closed and it just opens for you so let's get one more from this deck clarity on illumination opportunity yeah when you have two <laughs> you have two cards that are telling there's your door there's your door. It might be closed right now, but look at it. it looks like sunshine. Uh, I just remembered a song that I woke up to this morning. And don't ask me why I woke up with the song Drop, Drop It Like It's Hot. I think that's Snoop Dogg. I do dream in music and sometimes I wake up with songs, but I have no idea where that one came from. So maybe that had to come through. Sneak on back now for you guys. That sun, like that energy of the sun, the hot energy just reminded me of that. So you do have 
something that maybe was closed, it's going to open up. The right door is going to open up. It's going to feel like sunshine. And it was a little bit of a locked situation before, but maybe you are the key to unlocking something or somebody else since you have help over here. Doors are opening up for you. You have the chance to change jobs, to start a business or invest in a new venture. Just do it. I, I'm getting that when you see this, when you have this conversation or something is presented to you, it's almost like you open this door and it's that beautiful and open. Not a, not a weird, I don't know, I see like a really drab room. I don't think it's like that. Even if it's a room, there's something about the energy of that room that vibrates different. It feels like a golden opportunity. I don't think you are going to, I don't, I'm, I don't see you stepping in your own way. I see you wanting to grab this. So, I mean, even if that's a, a partnership, that, that comes into your world, it's something that feels like that sun kind of energy, somebody who's open-hearted. There's a brightness about the dynamic between you and someone else. That could be a business partnership too. I mean, it does say some of you are gonna start a business or, or make an investment, but whatever you are investing in is going to somehow burn brighter and brighter and get bigger and bigger. Um, I just see something as very long lasting, not like a, um, a quick thing. <laughs> I don't know what like a get rich quick thing. I don't see that. I see it more as like some kind of residual energy that keeps circulating around and around either in stability or gets bigger. I hope that made sense to you guys. I think this is really nice. So what do we want to go to next? Um, Let's do, let's do, I, I don't know, I feel like I wanted to grab this one. So let's pull one tarot card to sort of bridge illumination and opportunity for you guys. What is the bridge between these, these new opportunities? What is a deeper message to know about for the collective, please and thank you. Oh yeah, it is gonna be long-term. Wow, I'm gonna take both of these because I stared at both of these. You have a lot of masculine energy coming through. You have two kings, the king of fire, the king of pentacles. This is that card that I hear. Look at how heavy this chariot looks, how strong that bull is. You can see even the fibers of, of the bull's muscles. This king is naked and vulnerable. There are these, I don't know, I see them as like bubbles of clarity maybe plans in the in the works they seem so light and this chariot seems so heavy and there's so much energy you can see the ripples on the earth moving it's making some like earth waves <laughs> so this is somebody who knows how to come in and bring long-term security maybe these are two business partners together this could be one person multi facets of you multi facets of somebody else but this is earth and fire so this is capricorn taurus and virgo like energy doesn't have to be but if this is an offer that's coming in and an opportunity or maybe even the person that's been working hard behind the scenes for you or coming into the picture this is somebody willing to work hard for you somebody that shows up they put in the elbow grease they um they know how to manifest their ass off they really do they can really make some big small plans huge successes but this is somebody who's been through trials and tribulations and failures as well but that's why they've learned to know what's worth pursuing and what's worth letting go um Upside down, this is still a manifesting kind of energy, but when this person is not quite vulnerable here, when they put that whole armor on, that shiny suit for everyone to see, um, it's a little bit of a flashy kind of energy because there's always this sense of that king or that masculine energy wanting to kind of cover something up because there's always a little lack energy underneath. It's always that, that very 3D, materialistic, 
the next thing that you have is going to bring happiness or that job that you have is going to bring the happiness or when you date that person and everybody can see how beautiful you look together when you're out that should bring the happiness but there's not really a real connection it's somebody always sort of trying to fill in a hole thinking the thing is going to bring the happiness instead of the happiness and the integrity being within themselves first because then what they're pursuing with this passion, this enthusiasm, this would be enthusiasm, with this energy of forward movement and long-term goals is, is really the truth in their soul. When they're tapped into their higher self, then what they pursue is their destiny. And, and it's never looking to the next goal for the happiness it's already exactly where they are whether it's a failure or a success that is always a success i hope that made sense because they always take something out of every lesson good and bad but this energy also masculine is also vulnerable one has a bull and one has a lion so it could be a taurus and a leo energy but this could also be aries or sagittarius this is this is somebody who's coming fiery, passionate, really fast. This one you might hear coming, slow and steady. You kind of feel the rumble. But maybe something starts slow and steady and speeds up. Or something starts really fast. And then you know because it started with this passionate, expansive, adventurous, fiery kind of energy. That if you keep that flame lit, it's going to be something you want to you will want to put into your 3D world, in your physical world, and keep attending, keep working on. This is a really, I, I like, the, I, I feel like this is a really fun king, and I feel like this is a very logical king, but also very sensual, because they're, they're really about touch and what they feel. So I want to say, like, I don't know why I'm thinking this, but if there's like a relationship with Maybe this king, every moment is expanded to eternity. If there's one with this, this is the king that's like, the, the, the heart's beating fast. Like there's that sense of adventure. There's a lot of creativity, so you never quite know what to expect or what, what might happen. But this could be even a business partnership. This king is very confident. Like really confident. They own who they are full on they shine like the sun they're meant to be in the spotlight this is kind of a people person like center stage so it might be that these two people work really well together and inside every king is also a feminine energy so it has to be that eventual balance to know when to hold back and receive but it does look like right now the energy coming through is to pursue to take a hold of that fiery opportunity when it's there. Upside down, because I like to look at everything 360, upside down. <laughs> you know, every every single way that you can look at it. Um, and inside out, that's what I was trying to think. That this king still kind of always comes across as confident, but it's like overplaying. It's exaggeration. It's ruffling up the feathers and having the big chest like this it's like what's that tarzan kind of energy and it's it's not it doesn't feel natural it feels like it's like overplayed even their stories of all their adventures and everything they had are kind of like blown a little bit out of proportion to make them feel extra grand and special but when this king is really telling a story about one of their adventures you're like oh like I just thought of Indiana Jones like you're in it like you know like wow and it doesn't even have to be a great adventure it can just be an adventure in their mind but whatever it is that they are speaking about there's this authenticity with their enthusiasm and their passion and it's a beautiful thing to be around it's a beautiful energy to be around as long as this king's not upside down and really pompous and he's he can be kind of an ass He's the one that like stands out so big, like the, what is that? Like the loudest person in the room. Sometimes it's the one that's the quietest that gets the most attention because their energy is different. And when they speak, they're really heard. 
So for some of you, this might be an energy where it's that loudest person in the room, but I feel like it's like all talk and no show. This, this king has had to learn to follow through because sometimes this king has way too many irons in the fire, but usually that's part of all of their experiences. Then they learn which iron, which fire is worth keeping it going. There's usually at least one, but usually a few subjects or things that they're into where they know how to keep that flame alive. Um, it, it, it's like a passion that's felt each and every time. So, wow, that was a lot of king energy. Um, I feel like we should maybe do, do I have it? I do. Let's do one spirit messages. Um, I do have to do one of those readings again. So I feel like maybe this is kind of cool that I have different readings coming through at different lengths. Um, I actually do have to go out. I am singing again, but, um, I don't know. I was going to get ready and get my fancy dress on. And I just, I just felt this urge to get a message out there to you guys. So I sat down, turned it on and... This is the message, so I hope it's helpful for you guys. Let's get one spirit message to be helpful. Please and thank you. Oh, I forgot how tiny these words are. Every time. Hold on. It's time to hit the reset button. Ooh, I like this. Hit the reset button. Clear out that old so that room is available for the new to enter trust that better things are coming fast and if they're long lasting then maybe this is just a little energy maybe this door is not quite open yet this jar of illumination is not quite open yet so this message is coming through to prepare you sometimes big things are meant to come in our world but until we let go of an old way of thinking some baggage. Sometimes it's actual stuff. Sometimes it's partnerships. Sometimes it's an old job. Whatever it is that you know is definitely needing a reset for you. It's time to hit the reset. Time to clear some space so you have these big open arms, this open space in your energy so you can handle all this when it comes in because you're going to want to make a lot of changes when this happens. So I feel like there are some changes you need to orchestrate yourself right now prepare to move to the next phase of your life it looks like whatever phase is coming in working with you or you are moving towards this is your big rebirth welcome wow it's giving you a welcome welcome <laughs> to well or welcome this beautiful brand new energy you've got this yeah you do yeah you do you have the you have the confidence um i hear to pull something off maybe it was something that no one else can pull off but you and you got this capability of having it make um beautiful constant beautiful um solid manifestations in your everyday world that you can touch and you are proud of so discs is everything in the what you can touch land people places things car children home job house yard your tools all that stuff it's where you put your physical energy every day i feel like we should maybe bridge with one more tarot i like this art of life find the quotes on this beautiful so let's bridge one more to bridge definitely these two kings, the Prince of Wands and the Prince of Discs. What is the bridge between these two? Please and thank you. You are letting something go. <laughs> I'll show you those too. And you're making some plans. 
Maybe somebody's taking a trip towards you. The Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is having all of that inspiration in your soul and starting to put it in the works. Starting to put those plans down on paper. Starting to see how you can leave the comfort zone and make the first step. The first step takes confidence. It's usually the hardest one. But once you step up to that, there's your chance. You might hit a home run every time. You might miss a couple. You might figure out you step up to bat and that's not your game. Baseball's not your game. You're more of a golf person or you like to fish. But that step helps you to discover the next step on where to go. This is you releasing the weight of the world. You do have to make room. It does look like a big, big old mess of room. Sometimes it has to be Let's just use a literal example of cleaning your house. Going through all your clothes, emptying out that weird, you know, drawer you got where all the extra stuff is in there that you don't even know you have, but empty it out. Look at it all. See what you can keep. See what is garbage you can get rid of. See what you can organize and make some room for something new to come in. This is you getting the chance to see that you could have someone around you that's very helpful in how you hold all of this stuff. It's, you don't have to do it the hard way. There's another way to work where it can flow better. It's like that working smarter, not harder. Sometimes it's just changing your schedule. Sometimes it's getting out of environments or partnerships or situations where it was constantly draining your energy and you were just always running on empty. Sometimes it's taking that power back yourself, having that brand new rebirth, doing something a different way. There's another way to do something where it doesn't have to be so difficult, but usually it takes you releasing something. Sometimes it's just the way of thinking. You always did something the same way for the last 10 years and you never even knew there was a different way until maybe something was presented to you. Are you going to stick with what, you know, you always did? Or maybe give something a try. Maybe a different way of doing something you might like better. I hear it'll streamline something for you. It does look like you are gathering a lot of information here. But when you try to be creative or even try to, let's just say even, I don't know, come up with a solution. Let's just say relax. And all you're doing is looking at all the mess all around you, this disorganization. You got to do the fold the clothes. And I'm just thinking of what my house sometimes looks like when I, when I actually get ready for a show. There's sequins everywhere. And I come home and it looks like, like a fairy threw up in my house. Like there's just so much sequins because I don't know what to put on. So, and then it's taking them all later, you know, hanging everything up, putting everything away. And it just makes you feel like you can breathe again. You don't always have like something lingering that you have to do. So patience and fortitude conquer all things. Ralph Waldo Emerson. So this is an ending with the 10 and you have a beginning here or you're past that fiery idea, past that big heart on of the universe with the two of wands or with the one the ace. You've grabbed a hold of something and you're ready to move. Maybe you're going with someone else. Maybe it's an actual trip, but this is having the plans that take you out of the castle, out of the comfort zone and hitting the gas. The first step towards getting somewhere is to decide that you're not going to stay where you are. <laughs> so if look at where you are and know that there's a little something more, so what's one step you can take, even if it's that you stay in your comfortable kingdom or position, but you still have some kind of energy of expansion in your soul, whether that's just new experiences, new knowledge that you have, new passions that you have, whatever it is, there's this beautiful new life, new phase kind of energy that wants to come through, but you have to be a part of it. That's a J.P. Morgan quote. I like that quote. I think it's beautiful. So let's sum up, guys, with one more message from the universe. 
So this one message from the universe to bring some clarity to the collective, please and thank you. Oh yeah, I create mindful moments throughout the day. So it's being mindful, being conscious of your choices, of your decisions, of how you see any situation. Because it all starts with your thoughts. Your thoughts are vibrations. And you reminding yourself, I am love and miracles are natural. You know, anything that seems like it's so outlandish that it couldn't possibly be a miracle are just usually natural things we have yet to understand, to understand. And sometimes it just starts with that belief and belief and faith. Your connection to your higher self, to source, to the divine. There are miracles waiting to come in for you. You have to be open armed to receive them, open hearted to love them and embrace them. And with this, I bid you do. I love you so much. Thank you for being here with me. I hope you have a beautiful day, a beautiful evening, afternoon, wherever you are. And I will see you soon. Bye.